All right, what we got here is a 2005 LOI Duramax. The customer is complaining of the classic hard radiator hose, loss of coolant, low coolant light coming on. So what we're going to do right now, you can see the engine is uh, is just about at operating temperature. The customer just dropped the truck off about 15 minutes ago. Uh, we're going to go outside and we're going to uh, go through the routine test of how to eliminate an EGR cooler in comparison to head gaskets. All right, out here what we got is a uh, coolant pressure tester. Um, back here, what I've done is taken off the uh, the riser to the EGR cooler and shoved a one quarter inch chisel in between the riser port and the EGR cooler flange. This way, it alleviates drive pressure to the cooler. What we expect to see is a building of coolant pressure on just idle. We're not going to throttle up at all, and this is, of course, a uh, a very bad situation of ruptured head gaskets because normally you'd uh, have to throttle up or drive it to see a buildup of pressure inside of the cooling system. Uh, this will verify that the engine is just about at operating temperature. You can see it's about 155 or so on the uh, on the th thermostat housing. And we're going to start it. Hook this up. As you can see, there's zero pressure on it right now. Now I've added over a gallon and a half of coolant to the truck since the truck was brought in. It sounded like I was releasing a storage tank of air when I took the radiator cap off because there was so much air in there and loss of coolant. As you can see the low coolant, le low coolant level is on. The uh, engine is just about at 170 or 100 and, uh, about 180 or so degrees. And we'll go back outside. is already starting to rise. We are just at idle right now. There's the exhaust drive pressure escaping from the flange. Now we won't sit here forever obviously because the uh, the video would take forever but I'm going to uh, pause for a minute or so while it's idles and watch the uh, pressure rise and I'll come back in, in a few, few minutes. Alright, it's only been about uh, about a minute and a half, almost two minutes now, and you can see that the, uh, the, the pressure is clearly rising. The uh, temperature on the engine is about 170 right now. I wanted to update it before the, uh, the camera times out so we don't lose the video. We'll give us another few minutes. Alright, the engine's still sitting here idling. It's about 170 and a half degrees or so. We are approximately about 6 PSI or so. Uh, the other telltale sign that it's not an EGR cooler is there is no coolant coming out of the back of the cooler. Typically when a cooler is ruptured, you see a uh, some sort of a mineral deposit left over from the coolant because the extended life coolant tends to leave a white, uh, like a dusty residue. And there is none of that being built up at the back of this up pipe here. Basically what we've done is we've condemned the, uh, the head gaskets. Another LOI failed head gasket. Thanks for watching.